Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this fall door swag using two Dollar Tree Christmas trees. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this door swag, you're going to need two Dollar Tree Christmas trees. You're going to need some ribbon with wire for a bow, and you're going to need several fall floral picks. Some of mine came from Walmart and the others came from Dollar Tree, and you're going to need a small sign, some zip ties, some floral wire, and I think that's about it to get started. First, you're going to want to fluff your Christmas trees, and then you can remove the little square piece on the bottom. After you have it removed, you're ready to make your little swag. So you're going to take one end and place it where that the trunk of the tree overlaps the other trunk of the tree and zip tie them together. I did add two zip ties to hold my little trees together to make my swag. So now we have a swag. So this is so simple to make and inexpensive. Now Dollar Tree does have the white Christmas trees out too. Next, you're going to take your picks, and I got these pumpkin picks, I forgot. I bought these, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. So take one in place on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems. Then now I'm taking the sunflower picks, one on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems. Same steps until I get my swag the size I want. You can make this for any season or holiday. I am just making mine for fall. So once you get the swag the size you want, then you're going to want to zip tie it together. Now I did add one more pick to the top of the swag. When I got it hung up on my door, I just thought it needed some fall leaves at the top. So I did add one more pick to the left side. So now I have my swag, I think the size I want. I had a few more picks laid out, but I decided I didn't need them. So I took my zip tie and I just placed it around the swag and made sure and got the zip tie nice and tight. Next, we're going to be tying a bow. So let out a tail, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your hand. Go to the other side, make another loop the same size as your first loop. Make sure your loops are about the same size. Then sometimes when you have a design, you have to twist the ribbon to keep the design on top. So go back to your first side, make another loop, check it with the first loop to make sure it's about the same size. Then go back to the other side, make another loop. Then you're going to let out a tail and you're going to want to have some floral wire close by to wrap it tightly around the center of your bow. I like to use 20 gauge floral wire and you can buy floral wire at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that. Just make sure you get the wire nice and tight around the center of your bow. Next, I like to dovetail the ends. So you're going to take it, take the end, fold it in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends. So make sure you do that to your ends, and then you'll want to fluff the loops of your bow. You'll want to use ribbon with wire because when it has the wire, it makes the loops stand up and it just holds its shape better. Now we're ready to put it all together. So take the wires on your bow, and you're going to take those wires and wrap it around your little floral swag that you just made. So take those wires, then go to the back of your swag, give those wires a few twists, leave those wires long, because you're going to be taking those same wires and you're going to use them to attach your swag to your little Christmas trees. So just place your floral swag on top of the little Christmas trees, wrap that wire around it, go to the back and twist those wires and then cut them off short and fold them down. Now, wasn't that simple? And now we have a beautiful fall swag. Make sure you always fluff your flowers. Make sure your loops are fluffed and your tails are going in the right direction. Now, I did add one more fall pick to the top of my door swag. I added some fall leaves because I just thought it needed something else. Then here I'm adding a Dollar Tree sign. Now I just clipped off one of the three signs, hot glued a pipe cleaner to the back of it. Now I'm going below the bow, same steps. I'm threading the pipe cleaner around the swag. Then I'm going to go to the back of the door swag and give those pipe cleaners a few twists. And that's how I attached my sign. 
You do not have to add a sign unless you just want to. It's beautiful without a sign, but I just thought I would add a sign this time. I took the door swag outside and hung it up on my front door, but the colors don't show up that pretty today because it is cloudy, so it just the lighting doesn't do it justice. It's really pretty, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share, and leave me a comment. For my October giveaway on October 31st, 2021, I will draw one name and that person will receive a $25 Dollar Tree gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment on all of my October videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. The giveaway is not sponsored or affiliated with YouTube or anyone. I just wanted to do it to say thank you.